Hey everybody, um, I'm sorry that this is like super, super quick and just random, but, and it's also on my sound, cell phone, so I'm sorry if like the quality and the sound is not great, but um, I actually, there's not going to be like a full-blown like elaborate stitch hooks video this month in October because I have just been crazy busy this past weekend. Um, I'm going out of town in a couple of days, so it's just like one of those things where it's just like I have so much going on. Work's been crazy. I have this and that, an appointment here and there, and it's just like one of those times where it's just like I can't seem to fit it in right now like I normally can. So I wanted to jump on real quick because I actually did open up. I just opened up my box for October. It got delivered last week, and I needed to like check out because they're not that they rush you, but like you know, they, you got to be like checked out within like a couple of days. And technically, I was supposed to be checked out yesterday. So, and I'm not keeping anything in my box. So. I'm not going to try anything on, but I figured I would just show you real quick and just kind of make like a quick little like video. Um, I know my Stitch Fix videos seem to do the best on my channel and I didn't want to let anybody down if like they actually do look forward to seeing them every month and I wanted to be able to give that opportunity. I just couldn't fit it into my schedule to make a proper um, video and I do apologize for that. Um, it's just trying to balance full time work, life, business, whatever. Is hard sometimes so I hope you can understand that every once in a while there might be I know I didn't like I think it was July's box I didn't upload because I was away at yoga teacher training and I didn't bring my equipment with uh, with me because it just didn't didn't work out so I'm sending everything back because a lot of it either didn't bring me joy I couldn't stand the style did not like it whatsoever and um, I did let them know in this box when I checked out that hey you know I really have been dissatisfied with my past stitch fix boxes I'm not sure what's going on but um, right now I'm actually considering canceling my stitch fix subscription and trying a different box um, I've tried daily look in the past I've tried trunk club I've tried there's one more um, not fashion. I've tried that and I made a video about that. That is on my channel if you are interested in that company. And their box I actually really enjoyed. So I was thinking about maybe trying them out. And they're actually a little bit more affordable too, which is kind of nice. So um, we'll see. We'll see what happens though because I've been a diehard Stitch Fix um, customer fan for a really long time now. And I hate to give up on them, but it's just this year has been really weird with boxes and you know, just it not matching my style. And it seems to be like every other or every two boxes seems to have like something I actually like. So the first item was this sweater. Now I did like it. I thought it was cute. It's navy blue, gray, and pink at the end of the sleeves. And then these patches are pink. And it's not that I didn't like it, it's just this was going to be actually the only piece I was going to keep. I had it, tried it on, and I looked at it, and I was like, well, if I'm ever in an office, like, again, one day, like, this would be really good. Um, I mean, I could do it, like, as an everyday wear because it's comfortable, but when I tried it on and I looked at myself in the mirror, I was like, huh. This doesn't, this didn't just bring me like, oh, wow, this is really cute. You know, it's just kind of like one of those things where it's like, okay, I guess. So that's why I decided to send it back because I'm already sending back everything else. So why pay $60 for one sweater, you know? So that was just the way that I looked at it. So that one I am sending back. I'm going to tap that there. The next sweater is like a turtleneck. Um, and I did not like the bottom of this. When I tried it on, it made me feel really big. Like, I know I always talk to you guys about, like, I'm already kind of like a curvy girl. Like, I know I got a bigger bottom and stuff like that. And I just don't want to be wearing clothes that make me feel bigger. So, um, yeah. So, and it doesn't, it's not like itchy, like that itchy wool thing, which I really did appreciate because I hate that feeling when you try on sweaters or if you wear sweaters. And um, I liked the end of these sleeves because they kind of, like, were going to be tight here, which was nice. And I just didn't, I didn't like, I'm not a turtleneck girl. I wish I could be, but it's just, oh my God, I felt so hot and I'm just don't like being hot. And yeah, so I decided to send that back because that was another one that it just really didn't feel like it matched my style. I got a pair of jeans and I'm sending them back because I've gotten so many pairs of jeans from them. I have so many jeans in my closet. Like I need to stop, you know what I mean? Like I need to like literally bust open a few like of them, like where you get like the rips in the thighs or whatever, or like the belt hole ones, like, and it's not that, and this is actually one of my favorite brands that they have is um, Liverpool. I really like them a lot. So it's a, they were a great pair of dark wash jeans. It's just I didn't, I didn't need another pair. I have so many that I just, I, I need to stop by getting so many pairs of jeans. So I'm sending that back for that reason. Um, the next two items were those three 
were like some, somewhat, I felt like they were kind of my style. These next two, I, I didn't even try them on because I was just like, oh no. So they sent this, I don't, I don't know if it's like a t-shirt dress, even though it doesn't have t-shirt sleeves, it's like long sleeve, but I did not like this. Now, I just, I didn't like, like this tie thing. I was like, this isn't gonna hit my hips right. Um, I didn't like the plaid. I like a plaid button up. Like if this was just like a shirt to wear, I probably would have kept it because I really like the colors. But I was like, as a dress, I was like, I wouldn't even know what shoes to wear. Like, I don't really want to wear tall boots with this. Like, that doesn't really seem like my style. Like, um, it's a little, I, I almost kind of was like, this is a little too preppy for me. Like, that kind of style. But, um, yeah, I was just not happy with this at all. And I was just like, I saw it and I was like, oh my god, I don't even want to try that on. I did not like the way that it looked. And then the last thing was a dress as well. And... <laughs> I just like look at it and I'm like oh my gosh and I'm sorry and I do not need to pick on anybody but like it reminded me of like like old lady-ish style is kind of like how I worded, worded it when I checked out with it so this is a dress um I wish you could feel this fabric because it feels like like heavy like it's heavy like heavy like not wool because it's not itchy but it's like heavy fabric but it's this dress and it's just I I hated the pattern I was like, what, did somebody throw up on this? Like, I like, I, you can see my face, like I'm like looking at this and I'm like, oh my God. Um, I will say I liked the top here with like the scallops and then it was like kind of like a V. I didn't try this on because like I said, I, ugh, I did not like the color. I don't like the cut and I know I've come, I think I talked about this in my last Stitch Fix for September, like a few weeks ago when I posted it. I'm so sick of the style. I'm like the fit or fit and like because I, I have so much of this you know and I don't like the color so it's just not gonna work for me like I would never wear this like I would never pick this out on a rack like if I saw this pattern and I know I think I've said it before again in my videos that you should always try stuff on that was like something my grandmother always taught me even if I hated the pattern but like I saw these two things and I was like oh my god I don't even want to take the time to do this I got I got stuff to do so yeah, so that was my Stitch Fix for October. Not very impressed, like I said, I might switch. I might see how the last two months of the year, I mean, because the next one's November and the last one's December. Maybe in the new year, I'll try fashion. We'll see how they do for the end of the year. That actually is a really good idea. So I'll probably get two more boxes at least and see if things like change, but um, I might take a break from Stitch Fix for a bit and then try something else because I like getting a clothing subscription box because if I ever need something new or if I have an event to go to or a wedding to go to or whatever, I have a trip that I'm going on, like that's what I really like it for because they can kind of like curate the box to that sort of thing. Or if there's like a, you're looking for like a green whatever vest, like an olive green vest or a, bla a new black blazer for work, like that's such a great, you know, tell your stylist, they'll send it to you. Great. You don't even have to worry about it. You don't have to hunt around for it. They kind of understand like your fit and your cut and your sizing. So it should work out really well. But yeah, so I think yeah, just we'll see what happens. But yeah, again, I'm sorry if this is like was so quick, short. Sorry it was on my cell phone. I with the lighting and like the sound, I've got a camera to avoid this situation. But I had to do something quick, but I didn't want to, like I said in the beginning, let you miss out on um my stitch fix so yeah so thanks if you watched this thank you if you made it to this part thank you so much for taking the time to actually watch this and um i will see you in my next video bye